Hey guys, Airsoft Al here. So, recently there was a comment, which of course YouTube removed, big shocker, calling me out because apparently I'm a loser because I have a flag of a loser. For those of you who don't know, I have a flag that has been recently mislabeled as the loser's flag. This flag right here, which is the Virginia Battle Flag, or known as the Confederate Jack. Here's the thing, folks. Um... I'm going to call people out on this because uh, apparently they've been brainwashed so much that they have completely forgotten history as a whole. When the Civil War happened, there were no winners or losers. It was a war of, and this is just my personal opinion on the Civil War, mind you, and something I've been brought up on. The Civil War was one big clusterfuck of egos, greed, money-fueled, just people wanting to not lose their piggy banks, political corruption, and just outright stupidity. The South lost because we followed greedy politicians who simply did not want to lose their cash cow. And here's a nice little fun fact for people. I, I like Lincoln because he did some good things, but at the same time, he himself did own slaves. Not a lot of people know that. Lincoln did own slaves. Everyone owned slaves. But then again, the losers of it were the civilian populations during the war, were the people who lost their sons and who literally lost their sons, fathers, husbands, uncles, grandfathers, literally lost everyone to the bloody conflict because we followed greedy politicians. We followed people who were greedy, who didn't want to lose their cash cow. The Civil War was just one big clusterfuck of people who just did not want to lose that cash flow. Now, while I could go into a big video, while I could go into a big thing on that, I'm not. Other people have done the Civil War and covered it well better and way more open than anything else. Uh, Cynical Historian's one of them. Alternate, History's, uh, Alternate History Hub's one of them. Uh, History Buff is one of them. Arthur, what have you, Brandon F. has done that. A lot of other better channels have done that. But what I'm going to talk about is, is the South really a loser? Because... Last I checked, our cities weren't being burnt down. Last I checked, we had the least restrictive gun laws in other st versus the North. We are more free down here than you asshats up North. We have more freedom down here than you morons. Last I checked, there are more guns per capita down here than there are where you're at. California! <coughs> So, before any of you start saying, oh, you guys are losers because you lost, no, motherfucker, we're winners because we realize Democrats don't have our best interests at heart. We're winners because we realized real damn quick how greedy politicians are. And when someone tried being greedy again, i.e. Athens, Tennessee, when they tried rigging their election, we armed up and we rebelled and showed them Hey, motherfucker, you back the hell off and actually give us our freedoms we deserve, or we're going to kick your fucking ass. So before anyone says, oh, I'm a loser because I have a loser's flag, how about you actually think about yourselves? How about you actually look at yourselves in a goddamn mirror and look at your states in a fucking mirror and realize that, yeah, sure, the South are losers. Even though our laws actually make sense. Even though our gun laws make sense. Even though we don't try to restrict freedoms of our people. Even though we don't try to restrict the liberties that we are given. And yes, I said liberties. Because last I checked, one of our founding fathers said, America, the very principles of America is literally life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness motherfucker. And the South is actually life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And, yeah. And here's the thing. Even though you're going to pull out the whole racist card saying we're racist, yeah, sure, there might be racist here, but guess what? If they try to attack people, we have self-defense laws and stand our ground laws to where if some asshat tries to attack someone because they're racist against them, that person that's being attacked can gun that person down and it be claimed self-defense. What about you, assholes? What about you? Oh, that's right. 
you try to kill someone in self-defense in your area, i.e. Kenosha Kid, and people try to go after you because you're automatically a racist. You're a white supremacist, even though you are defending yourself. So before any of you motherfuckers try to say, oh, I'm a loser because of this flag right here. I'm a racist because of this flag right here. Here's a little FYI. I'm half Jewish. Yeah, half Jewish, asshats. I'm also Irish, Scots-Irish. Two nationalities who literally fought against tyranny and oppression. Ireland still fighting for their right to unify Northern Ireland with the rest of Ireland. So, try and tell me how I'm a loser, how I'm a racist, even though my states have literally, especially my home state of Tennessee, which, <laughs> by the way, has the least restrictive gun laws outside of common sense gun laws where I can't buy a handgun in one state and transport across the state line. However, I can damn well buy a rifle or a shotgun in Mississippi, bring it back across state lines to Tennessee, and actually have that. Try and fucking tell me how I'm a loser for that. When in California, you just recently won the court case saying that you can now have high-capacity magazines. Where we never had that problem down here in the South. At all. Hell, you can buy fucking drum mags down here. Yes, drum mags. The double 200 round drum mags. Again, try and tell me how I'm a loser for that. Try and tell me how I'm a loser to where we can make moonshine as fuel. You heard correctly. We can have moonshine as fuel. Try and tell me how I'm a loser for that. Try and tell me how I'm a loser when we literally have common sense laws. It, it, it astounds me how idiotic people can be and how close-minded and just narrow-minded people can be when it comes to things. So, yeah. Oh, and before anyone says I'm still a racist... I equally hate everyone, and the people I hate the most are communist, fascist, racist, and idiots. Those are the four people I hate the most. To those of you who actually do live in the South and actually have been called out losers once before, sound off in the comments section how free we are and just do a comparison between our states and the other states. Because... I still laugh. I still laugh at some of these morons who still think they're better than us, even though their states are Orwellian in nature and have more government reach than ours do. Again, stupidity at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Stupidity at its finest.